Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so today we have an alternative analysis problem, and in particular, this is a present worth problem. Uh, so let's read the question. Uh, you want to invest in a way that the return is a uniform gradient beginning at year two, uh, continuing over the course of five years with a 7.5% interest rate. On year five, you want the return to be $15,000. What is most nearly your initial investment? Okay. So upon immediate inspection, uh, I understand that we have a uniform gradient, so that's going to be important. Uh, and it gives a, it's asking for our initial investment, so this guy is our present worth. Uh, so I understand this is a present worth problem. And if you're looking for any material on this, you're going to be going to P or FE 230. And I think 233 has some material as well. Maybe a table or two that you can find. Actually, there's a lot of tables that you can find. Uh, and then for the PE, you're looking at 37 and I think 40. So these guys have some value, uh, some tables, so interest tables. Um, and I'm going to practice with those, show you all some problems uh, in the coming videos. So these are interest tables. I lost my train of thought. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and draw this guy out. You may remember this from class. We have sort of a number line almost. We have zero and then we have year five. Um, and then at year five, it says we have $15,000 or you want it to be $15,000. So we're going to say yes, it is $15,000. Um, and then we, we want to know our present worth at year zero. So how much do we need to put in to get that $15,000? We have one, two, three, four, and five. So we have year one, year two, year three, year four, and year five. So at year two, uh, we have this thing called G. And then at year three, we have another G added on. So we have two G. And then at year four, we have another G. So guess what? That's three. Uh, and then at year five, we have four G. So this is equal to four G. Uh, and I wrote that because it's very, very important for this problem to figure out what G is. So G is actually going to be 3750. Uh, and the reason why I needed to solve that is because it's in the formula and we can't solve the formula without having uh, G. So with, while we're talking about formulas, let's write that guy down. Present worth is equal to our gradient times and then here comes the colossal of a of an equation one plus i to the n minus one over i squared times one plus i to the n minus n over i times one plus i to the n power Okay, so uh, let's scroll down. We have everything that we need. The question, let's go ahead and let, let me just break this guy down. So uh, 7.5, 7 that is your interest. And then we have five years, so that's going to be your N. Uh, and then we have 15,000, that is your, guess what, F. So uh, it looks like we don't have an F in the equation, but we do have a G. And so that's why that's important to use that 15,000. Uh, we found this guy, and so now we can plug in. We have all our unknowns known now, uh, so we can plug this guy in. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to focus on the equation now. And so now it's just plug and chug, right? You plug that into your calculator, you end up with, uh, I'm going to break it up into sections here, 3750. And whenever you subtract those values, you end up with something like this, 7.5078987. And so that ends up being uh, 28,154 dollars and 59 cents. So let's scroll up and let's see which answer that is. 
28,154. Uh, it's going to be close to A. So that's going to be our answer is A. So I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.